What's up, everyone? Happy Saturday. Come to you a little late today because I had a busy morning. I got up to uh, do my ride, and my little babies were up, and they wanted to hang out. So uh, we look at priorities in life. Hanging out with my babies is way more important than getting on this ride. So uh, we did some snuggle time with the babies. Uh, they got the bunny out. We were playing with the bunny, and uh, they like to snuggle with me. They didn't want me to go. So that was the priority this morning, snuggle time. Snuggle time is always a priority in life. So now we're out riding, uh, most of the way through the riding right now. Uh, I actually got on uh, some coaching calls this morning uh, with some clients, trying to figure some stuff out, and uh, just got off a call. And now um, we're over here riding. We're over here with the geese. We got some seagulls over there. We got some ducks over here. A little segregated over here. We got geese, seagulls, and ducks. They don't want to associate. Kind of weird. Anyway, that's what we got going on down here at the lake. So, message of the day. Um, we'll talk about the concept of uh, I'm not where I want to be, but thank God I'm not where I was. So, um, a lot of us compare ourselves to other people out there and what they're doing. And um, we kind of get uh, defeated where we're not where we want to be. And we don't realize that other people may have had, you know, a leg up. They may be on the journey longer. They may have uh, some opportunities presented that maybe we didn't get. And um, we tend to compare ourselves to other people around us and where they are in life. And we get discouraged because... We don't, um, we don't give ourselves credit for the progress we make and for the achievements we make. And we talk about gratitude a lot. And we're not grateful for uh, where we are in life and where we have come from. I am a completely different person than I was a year ago. Um, a lot of people have told me that. I've seen it myself, just how I feel, um, just how I think. And I'm far from where I want to be, but I need to be thankful that I'm not where I was. Um, I look back at pictures from a couple of years ago, 305 pounds, my head was the size of a watermelon and um, wasn't loving life, wasn't happy, just going through the motions and uh, wasn't a good person for um, people around me, wasn't a good father, wasn't a good husband um, because I was just in a funk. I was uh, drinking a lot, eating a lot, and just uh, self-medicating for uh, the funk that I had going on in my life. And um, I worked my way out of that. COVID obviously was a big shakeup. Uh, wow, we got the uh, swans going over here. Check that out. How cool is that? Like water skiing over here. Anyway, that was interesting. So uh, COVID was a big wake-up call for me. Um, gave me a chance to stop and actually think, gave me, it gave me the break I needed to, uh, to recalculate and regroup and, uh, discover my purpose and to start moving forward. And I'm grateful, um, for the fact that I am not who I was a few years back, that I'm still have work to do. And that I, God keeps putting people in my life that are helping me, um, to keep continue to grow they're helping to inspire me and are helping to lead me and yeah sometimes i'd like to be further along but i'm thankful for where i am so just remember that in your life as long as you are making progress every day as long as you are taking little steps at a time to move forward to be the better person that you want to be um to hit those goals that you want to hit to uh maybe get in a little bit better shape to get a little bit better financially to get a little bit better in your relationships to get a little bit better for your family uh, to be a better human for the world. Um, small steps forward daily, as my buddy Thomas says. Um, we need to be grateful for those small steps, and we need to celebrate those wins of the small steps that we take every day. And we need to stop and look back and be grateful for the progress we make. Um, once you decide that you want to change your life, once you decide that you don't want uh, the existing life that you had before, the survival life that you had before, and you decide that you want to make a life that's meaningful and fulfilling, and that means something, um, and you start taking steps towards that, towards development, and um, 
making yourself a better person. Um, once you start that journey, you need to start being grateful for those small steps and those small wins. Because all the small wins equal big wins. And uh, just need to remember that. Stop comparing yourself to other people. Um, run your own race. Win at your own race. Um, write down your goals. Write down your aspirations. Write down your wishes, your dreams. And chase them. Chase them hard. And count the wins that you're winning in your lane. Don't worry about what everyone else is doing. All right, so there's your message of the day. Let's jump on prayers before the rain starts again. Yeah, right, here we go. In the fall of Son, Holy Spirit, amen. Beautiful morning, Saturday morning here. Peaceful, calm, not many people out. Just the geese and the ducks and the seagulls. All right. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for our sinners now at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Dear God, help us to celebrate uh, each and every win in our life, no matter bigger, no matter small. Um, help us to continue to grow. Help us to continue to have confidence and have faith. And help us to continue to be successful. Uh, please be with all those that are struggling uh, this holiday season. Um, there's a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, um, a lot of relationship type stuff that becomes a problem. And uh, please help everyone to stay strong and stay confident. Um, it can be a tough time of year if you have things going on in your life. Uh, a couple of people in my life close are struggling with some stuff. And uh, my heart is with them. And uh, we're working to try and help everybody uh, just be better. So, uh, amen. So, Saturday fun day. Uh, we got to go out and uh, make some Christmas deliveries. Uh, we got to go show some houses. I got to go check on my latest listing. If the cleaners finally finished, we're going to do an open house tomorrow. It's 120 Hanson over in Malvern. 779, four bedroom, two bed, colonial, 76 by 100 lot. Um, so we're going to do an open house on that tomorrow. I'm going to head there on the way out of here to make sure that's ready. And I got to do a couple showings later. And uh, just all the uh, pre-Christmas madness. The uh, Christmas uh, madness tends to take over our lives at this time of year. So uh, don't let it frustrate you. Don't get overwhelmed. Um, just keep putting your head on a pillow every night, knowing you made the world a better place. Fire starts fire. Be appreciative for everything in your life. Uh, check off those small wins. Stop comparing yourself to other. Win at your own race. Hi, everyone. Have a great Saturday. See you soon.